Good day subscribers. Today we're going to be continuing the Q&A section with part two of the three-part series of Q&A with Computer Guy Chris. Let's jump in. So as I said before in my previous video, this video series came inspired from a very, very long comment I had on a previous video. I split these comments into three different sections based on what the overall broad question they were trying to dig into was. So in this video, we're going to be doing the overall completion strategy, and we're going to start off with how many courses am I taking each semester? So for my strategy to attack this plan, my plan was to always take one course each semester. So that's one course in the spring, one course in the fall, and one course in the summer. In doing that, since the program is made up of 10 courses in total, I would complete the program in three years and one semester. So three and one third years. It's a little bit of a longer timeline, but because I'm working full time and taking these courses, I really didn't feel like I was equipped to take more than one course. The program as a maximum only allows you to take two courses as a maximum without additional approval from the school. So a full-time student would take two courses, a part-time student would take one course, even though you are considered a full-time student with one course. Um, so I have been taking one course each semester. I'm in my fourth course right now. Um, it has been manageable. It is a lot of time. The best way I describe it to somebody is taking a single course in this program is the equivalent of having a part-time job. So if all you have is a part-time job, you're fine, you're able to do normal stuff. But if you're working and you have a part-time job, then it starts to become a little bit of your time gets completely filled. Um, so that's why I say the program time commitment is very similar to what you would have as a time commitment if you had a part-time job. It's not quite as intensive as a full-time job just for one course, but two courses definitely is a full-time job. So I would not recommend two courses if you're working as well. I think it's more than most people can handle unless you already have a super strong grip on the information. Second, is there any need to spend time on these courses each week? And so this question um, has a couple of parts. Is there any need? No. For the most part, you could probably get past these courses and do okay if you worked on them every other week, but it's definitely not what I would recommend. I spend, I would say, probably five days minimum a week doing something on my courses, whether that's watching video lectures, going through notes, or doing homework. Um, it's just really nice to keep yourself always in the mode of working through these homeworks or working in the class. And my method was always by working on this course and working at all the time, it would just become background noise. And that's sort of what it's become. Um, it's definitely something I spend a lot of time on, but it is something that I enjoy. And if you're not planning on dedicating at least some amount of time each week to these courses, you might want to reevaluate how you feel about jumping into this master's program because it is labor intensive. Like I said in the previous question, taking one course in this program is almost the equivalent of having a part-time job. And so you wouldn't have a part-time job that you just didn't show up for each week. So as always, thank you guys for joining in on this video. I hope you guys liked it. Like I said, it was going to be a short video and I'll have the third part of this series coming out soon. Thanks and subscribe.